Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simply Nikla. So in today's nail tutorial video, I decided to do a super easy, easy, easy nail tutorial for you guys so anyone can recreate on their own nails. So if you have some plain Jane ratchet natural nails that has nothing on it, well you should do this nail tutorial and so they look more glamorous and more pretty. So if you want to go from ratchet nails to something more beautiful, amazing on your nails, go ahead and look at this nail tutorial so if you want to continue to see what I do in this nail tutorial and how to do it go ahead sit back and relax and continue watching but before you do how about go down below for me please and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and also give me a like and comment and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get started with this video <laughs> To begin this nail tutorial, the base coat for these nails is this nice, wonderful, beautiful beige. So first I started with one coat of this color right here, which is from Salon Perfect, and it's called Seashell Sweetie. And I applied one coat on all of the nails. I don't believe in love, hey, hey, if I want something like good, hey, hey, oh baby, I don't need love it, hey, hey, cause I love I cannot buy it. Was I real, was I real, with your boy, real, was I real, with your boy. And right on top of Seashell Sweetie, I applied one good coat of Sally Hansen's Insta Dry and their literary beige color called Making Moms. And it's just beautiful. <laughs> So this next step, I wanted to have a little bit more shimmer on it than like glitter. So I applied from Salon Perfect and it's called Ladies First and it's, it looks like it's pink but it won't give that pink color onto the nail but it gives that nice shimmer look. So I applied that one coat onto all the nails as well. The next steps, I wanted to add a pop of color on these nice beige nails. To make sure these colors really pop, I want to add a white base coat of the section that I want the color to be. So to explain, I took a liner brush so I'd be able to draw out and outline the area that I want the white to be. And the white that I used was from LA Colors Quick Color, their fast drying white, which is called Spark. So with that liner brush, I marked out a section on the tip of the nail with that white straight across. So after marking that line at the tip of the nail, I want these two diagonal lines on the, each side of the nail, only going down to like where your nail starts. And and up to the tip on both sides as you can see here you see it better than what I'm explaining and then I filled that all in with white and applied two coats of white so it's nice and opaque once I applied that white and dried I am going to apply that color on top so I could have just did one full color on all the nails or a different color for all the nails but I decided I wanted a little dark and a little light on these nails so I started with the thumb and half of the nail it will be a dark color and the other half will be a light color on so on the thumb I decided to use a blue and so I have a dark blue with a light blue and that's what whatever color that you choose make sure it is a dark color and a light color of that same color so the blue that I used was pure ice and it's called teal appeal and the light blue that I used was from Salon perfect and it is called icy hot to the index finger I decided to pick a purple a lovely purple of my favorite color so a dark purple that I used was from Salon Perfect and it's called Mood Ring and the light purple that I used was from LA Colors Color Craze and it's called Jazzy so I didn't show this on the thumb but but with a flat nail brush like you see here I applied some of that color of the of the dark color and the light color cut to kind of mix in the middle part 
uh, where the colors touch. I could have just had like a straight line in the middle. It's just like dark color and a light color, but I wanted the, the colors to kind of mix together to, to kind of blend and have the ombre effect look. Moving on to the middle finger, I decided to do a green. And so the dark green that I used was from Salon Perfect, and it's called Talk to the Hand. And the light green that I used was from LA Colors Color Craze, and it's called Lucky. I decided to go with a pink and so the dark pink that I used on this side was from a P2 volumes and it's called assistant awesome and I really want some neon pop color so I decided to go with a neon pink from LA colors color craze and it's called absolute where you go I go to and if you hit the bottom I'm going down with you let's see it for the pinky I decided to go with a yellow so a darker yellow I used was from pure ice and it's called showstopper and a neon yellow I used was from LA colors color craze and that one was called day glow and as well as I did all the nails I blend in the middle section of both of the colors to make sure it has that nice blend in that middle once I was done with that and I was happy with each coat of all of the nails, I think I really did apply two coats for each color. Um, and so I was done with all of that and it was dried a little bit. I went ahead and applied my top coat. So the top coat that I used was my favorite one, which is called the Pro Effects Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. And I'll apply that to every nail. And I, the girl that I used to be sometime, I'm so you guys, how do you like these nails? I think these are so pretty and really, really easy to do for any length of nail. So go ahead and give it a try. If you want to give it a try, go ahead and like this video down below. And also, if you like this video and liked what I did, um, go down below and give me a like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something and learned a really easy, simple nail tutorial. I really love these nails and excited that I got to show you how to do them. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back next week. Bye!